Hello Gemini, this is going to be your Venus Direct reading. We're just going to pull a spread to see what your partner's feelings are going to be towards you when Venus goes direct. Okay. Um, let's give it a nice shuffle here. Venus Direct is probably going to be an interesting time because Mercury is going to go retrograde around that time as well. So it's like the feelings may catch up a little bit, but the communication still can be stunted. So um, you might not hear from your partner or things may not be salvaged just yet. All right. So the Three of Swords, your first card. Ooh, okay. You guys got a whole bunch of cards coming out here. Okay, so we have the lovers, we have the high priestess. <clears throat> we'll take the hangman, we'll take the queen of cups, the eight, um, the eight of wands, the knight of wands, the seven of swords, and the five of pentacles. I'm sorry, you guys hear my dog chasing her tail in the background. Yzma, lay down. Lay down, Yzma. She's deciding right now to be on some puppy stuff okay so <clears throat> we have the three of swords here we have the lovers card and the high priestess so for some of you are dealing with a third party situation i feel as though you may find out that you're someone is dealing with another person okay this could be someone that you're not that serious with <coughs> sorry I mainly say that because of the Knight of Wands here. Um, this could be an, a fire sign or it could just be someone who you guys have like, you're maybe dating them or um, it's not that serious right now. Or it could be someone that you're with and they're just coming up as a knight because they're um, having some extracurricular activities outside the relationship. The Lover's Card in Three of Swords tells me that there may be either your partner is dealing with it, someone else. I feel it's your partner. <coughs> or it could be you, Gemini. Some of you could have moved on to a relationship and this is someone in the past that you've walked away from. Okay. Um, but I strongly feel it's your partner who's maybe dealing with someone else. Seven of Swords here. Some some, some sort of deception. Um, it could be a water sign that you're dealing with. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini. There's also um, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So that's another energy that's showing up. Aquarius or Libra. There's a lot of air energy here. Water and fire. Hangman is telling me that your partner may not be reaching out to you or they feel closed off from you, High Priestess. Um, there's a lack of communication here or at least a lack of openness and feelings. But the Eight of Wands tells me about um, the end of retrograde. I feel like they miss you enough or they... Um, would, even if some deception was uncovered, they still want to like try to move forward with you. <coughs> and this fits your reading um, for the relationship that I, I did on uh, um, the relationship reading that I did for November that basically says you're going to try again with someone that there may have been some issue with in the past. Okay. All I will say though, is be careful of someone that you're dealing with who may be still attached to someone else or in love with someone else. Okay. But they, I do feel Gemini, if you're waiting to hear from someone that you may have cut off or, um, you know, maybe they cut you off. Maybe the situation hasn't been moving forward with the hangman there for a while. There will be some communication from this person. You have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe somebody wants children or same, somebody may be dealing with someone that they had children with in the past. Or maybe you're dealing with a partner who is in a relationship there with, with, where there's children and they're not trying to leave their relationship. Yep. That could be what it is, too, with the Seven of Swords here. We do have chemistry at the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is um, that you're dealing with, there is a strong attraction with this person. You two may have been dealing with each other for a while. But I feel like there's a lack of forward movement in this relationship because I feel as though someone's not satisfied, either emotionally, could be physically. It just seems like a relationship that's hit, like, um, it's hit a roadblock. Okay, and maybe someone has started to stray or see other people date around and um, your partner or may, maybe it's you, Gemini. Maybe you decided to start dating because your partner wasn't serious about commitment and now they want to come back. Okay, now that they see you dating someone else. So I hope that I helped you guys out. At least know that by the time Venus goes direct 
and we're out of that shadow period, you should be receiving communication from someone or at least the will to move forward, okay? I do feel like the best way to approach the situation <clears throat> If you have already cut this person off or walked away or told them, you know, what it is that your issue is, the lack of forward movement in the relationship, the lack of commitment, stick to your guns on that because they will come through. Um, if they were dealing with someone else in the past, they may come back for atonement to basically make it up to you or try to um, have another chance, okay? It's up to you if you want to receive the energy or not, but just know that it's coming, okay? So um, I hope that this helps you out, Gemini. Please leave a comment and a like. I would greatly appreciate that, and I'll see you guys for the next reading. Bye.